Thank you for inviting me here to discuss religion with you, Pastor. Well, it's my pleasure. My pleasure. I think this is a very, very important issue to discuss. I am just thrilled that you felt up to the challenge. Not many papists are willing to come in and face somebody who really knows the scripture, and be forced to defend the Romanist doctrines from scripture alone. Well, I might ask you a question or two about all that. All what? For instance, why must I defend my view from scripture alone? It seems unfair that I have to do that, but you don't. What do you mean? My view is scripture, and scripture alone. It is the only standard by which I judge which doctrines are true, and which are false. Oh, how do you do that? Well my friend, I prayerfully search the Holy Word of God daily, and seek the infallible guidance of the Holy Spirit. Well that sounds like a winning strategy. It's the only strategy that saves. Yes, but I'm still somewhat puzzled. That's because you have all that Romish tribe swimming around in your head, clouding your vision and keeping you from embracing the doctrines of grace. Well, maybe that's it and maybe that isn't. It is. I am sure of it. Right. But let's get back to that extraordinary claim you made earlier, that your view is scripture and the Holy Ghost actually guides you, and you specifically, in the truth and does so infallibly. Well, his guidance is infallible. I am not. That's convenient.